All right, one card goes on the bottom for John. We are ready to go. Mr. Rainforest pass for Adam. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right. D wrong Exelon card. Stalactite Stalker on turn one for Jeskai John. Harry Houdini just gifted two subs. 89 now on the channel for Harry. And we just reached 300 subs. Thank you, Harry. Appreciate that. Harry is number five on our all-time gift sub leaderboard. Amazing. Really appreciate that. All right, here's a brainstorm for John. Oh, yeah. 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 Ooh, another stalactite stalker, so these will get pumped. Supple some counters on end step, most likely. And that'll happen. So the stalkers turn into two twos. This goblin. Uh, it feels like I'm saying this more and more every stream now, to, and it'll eventually get to a point where I don't have to say it anymore. But this card is getting more and more popular in Legacy, seeing it more and more frequently. And it's in games I've played against it, it's, it's pretty damn good. We just saw a match the previous round on today's stream where it, where it was likely the MVP of a game. Up, the beanstalk resolves. Swinging for four. This is going to turn into a lot of damage in a hurry. No descend possibly this turn as John just plays a Volk. So maybe they'll stay as two twos, which Adam will appreciate. A third stalactite stalker, though. Wow. And we know because it was accidentally revealed, John has a molten collapse in hand. I'm not sure what else is in there, though. No uh, truth, I guess. All right, no descend that turn, so the stalactite stalkers will stay exactly the way they are. Adam doesn't mind. Go. Underground C pass. Will John be able to descend this turn? There is a fetch. Attack it for five. There's the descend. Down to 18. So if they all survive until end step, they'll all get Pasumpus on counter. And uh, I don't know. Adam will have to figure it out. Um, in response to those triggers. So two three threes and a 2-2. Two, two. Doesn't make Adam's fetch very good. If these creatures can't start getting removed from the board. Bowmaster. Uh, Ooh, brainstorm. Does John have a bowmaster to just blow him out right now? All right, it's gonna resolve. No bowmaster. Uh, yeah. uh, 
Triumph of St. Catherine wouldn't even be able to block these creatures of menace. Not that it could probably be cast this turn, but I'm just saying. Uh, Tide wouldn't be able to block either. Also probably unlikely to be cast this turn. Trot Pass. It has to start removing these creatures. Attacking for eight. Draw trigger. Uh, Leyline binding, trigger the beanstalk. Well, well, the trigger does. Um, well, whenever I cast, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh. Trigger. So. Sorry. Still new to this beanstalk. Yeah, no worries, no worries, no worries. So, um, so this is the end result. I'm thinking. I mean, yeah, you, you had your so trigger on this deck. I wanted to cast it before you used it. Gotcha. Okay. okay. Um, and then with my trigger on this deck. I'll uh, trigger so resolve. Control, silver, I have a book yeah. Okay. Card drawn. Leyland Binding still on the stack, I guess. I'll get one of the three power ones. All right. It will successfully remove one of the Southite Stalkers. So, all right. Going to eight now. Still five power in the red zone. Finds a Tantra. It's a good start. Yeah. Uh, after that, it is us. <laughs> Source of Plowshare is getting fired off. Five cards left in Adam's hand. Trying to remove this other 3-3. Three, three. Uh, I'll take the two and go to six. So far, no descend this turn. Adam goes on to six. One Salatite Stalker remains. Um, Bowmaster now. Okay. I'll force pitch force trigger. It's force pitching force of negation. And stuff trigger. From anywhere. Okay. From anywhere. Yeah, yeah. Try to overcame the play. All right, a descent happened. Bowmaster went into the bin, so it's now a three-three stalker. Adam's at five. Who's five? Another beanstalk. Sure. Second up the beanstalk. This could potentially allow Adam to jump ahead. A third beanstalk. Scary. Go ahead. Uh, on that yeah. Still needs to remove the stalker, though. Source of plowshares. It's good. John will gain three. Ooh, was a life gain missed? All right, I will pass you. Ah, life totals life totals were not changed. I don't see anybody writing anything down. So maybe the life gain from Stalker will be missed. Will it matter, though? It seems like Adam is about to jump way ahead. Here's a Bowmaster in response to Brainstorm. So I take four here, right? Oh, yeah. Draw the three first. Uh, so you take one. First. Uh, sorry, yeah, then uh, four are on the stick. Bowmaster is going to resolve three additional... Triggers will go on the stack after this brainstorm is done. Spoke a bit. Uh, there was there was a couple of errors recently on streams with these uh, with life totals. The phones are great for keeping track of life in like a casual game. Great for keeping track of life for for matches on camera like what we're watching right now but actually not great tools for accurately keeping track of life it turns out it's better for both people to be writing it down so if you're playing competitive legacy out there in the wild or competitive any magic really just just write down life totals it 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 really can save you a headache all right a bow master comes in for adam it will kill 
John's Bowmaster. John still has a 4 4 arc army, though. Here's a ponder. Bolts you in response to ponder. <laughs> wow. All right. That bolt won the game. That was, uh, that was a good card to have left in hand. I guess the Molten Collapse got shuffled away at some point. All right, here's a ponder for Adam. That will resolve. Ponder shuffle. Draw from ponder and. Dragon's Raised Channeler comes in. I'll put you to the test. Try to daze it. Trigger. These don't even come out on the draw. So force a little in the yard. They don't. Uh, my turn? Yep. That's so bad. That's so, so bad. I'll waste you. What? Yep. Go ahead. Wasteland attack with DRC. Savannah with the fetch. Beanstalk inbound. All right. Beanstalk resolves. Gets to draw a card. One. Fetch. All right. There's Stalactite Stalker, and it will. See a descend. Brainstorm for Adam. That was an island cycle of Lorien revealed. It went just outside our frame up there. Finding a tundra, putting it into play. Wow, you're a stalker. So where's the plowshares on the stalker? Prioritizing that over Dragon's Rage Channeler might say a lot about the power level of Stalactite Stalker here. Dragon's Rage Channeler is still scary. Not sure what you're supposed to plow there, but respect for the Stalker, let's say. Wasteland seems poor. I don't know. Bowmaster flashes in. Attack for one with DRC. How many cards? Four of Oh, 
Mark Tide Regent for John. Could be pretty big. It's just going to be a 6-6, six, six, it looks like. How many cards? Still big as far as the board state, though. Adam has the Bowmaster advantage right now and the Beanstalk advantage right now, though. Card advantage from the Beanstalk. Punishment for John trying to get up to speed. Here's a second Beanstalk. Triggers. Ley line, two triggers. This may put Adam way ahead. Oh. Um, advantage, advantage bar swung way over to the right, I would say. Merktide trapped. Bowmaster, double beanstalk. Wasteland, not relevant. Bolt the, be the Bowmaster. Uh, the trigger's fine. Uh, put, yeah. Flooded strand surveilled into the graveyard. Bowmaster dies. Stuff is going a little bit out, out of frame over here. Brainstorm for John. Yeah, where is this advantage bar, Harry's wondering? I don't know. Is it is an advantage bar even? And I, I I think the reason why we don't even see it in Magic coverage that much anymore is is it does it even really provide any I don't know it's just not it's not super meaningful. Uh, um. Trigger. Uh, uh, and it's really just someone's opinion at the end of the day. Go ahead. Yeah, for newish players, potentially. But maybe newish players, I don't know, because I haven't been a newish player for a very long time, but maybe it just doesn't mean a lot to them or doesn't help them understand. All right, so attacking, Bowmaster, Orc Armies will trade. DRC gets in for three. And then pass to you. But it seems like the advantage bar has been completely abandoned for magic coverage at this point. Uh, okay. Sorry. No, no, sorry. I'm just. I'd let, I'd let it be whatever it was. Okay, so floating a blue mana, finding another underground sea after that waste. With my one floating, I'll cast this two triggers. Lorian reveal, draw two, then draw three. Two, and then draw two, or draw three. Yeah. This is, uh, this is a big turn. All right, seven cards in hand for Adam. Dragon's Rage Channeler can still get an attack in. But after this turn, John might sink way too far. All in on this Dragon's Rage Channeler. As Adam's card advantage grows. But then it was like... Three All right, a third copy of Up the Beanstalk. That'll resolve. 
has to have an answer for this Dragon's Rage Channeler, right? I would be very surprised if this thing swung for lethal in this game. Three triggers. <laughs> All right, Leyline binding three triggers of up the beanstalk. <laughs> All right, Force of Negation could protect the Dragon's Rage Channeler, I guess. Update my account. Three more triggers. Sure. Force Pitch Brainstorm, draw three. Wow. Six triggers. We came close to someone getting deck from Beanstalk on stream, didn't we? The beanstalk way, right? Two coming in. Full size one. Yeah, Hank from versus a different Adam. Exactly. Eight eight Merc tide draw three. One, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. I have to draw three still, right? Yeah. Uh, so you, yeah, you draw triggers resolve. I mean, that's your graveyard also. John's still alive. Adam's at seven. John might be thinking price of progress, or... I don't know. Eight, one more. Discard three fetches and a ponder. Sure. Do your worst. Trigger when that happens. I'm not gonna forget. There is a bowmaster on the battlefield, Adam pointing it out now, before the ponder is even finished resolving. It looks like John has a price of progress in hand. I think I saw it. Adam is at seven, has, well, five, maybe six non basics. Here's price of progress. <laughs> Six. Fetching to six. I'm gonna put plow back on top of my deck. Source of plowshare is going back on top of the deck. What does that mean? You want to cut? Oh, Are we gonna source this merc type? No hard cast force. Three triggers. Sure. Triggers are good. Force, draw three. Price of progress countered. Pass the turn. Adam's at six. Eight eight Merc Tide, two two Orc Army, Bowmaster. Attack for eleven. Ponder for Adam now. Does John have another price of progress? If it 
If he does, it would be a draw. Is a draw better than a loss? John hasn't given up yet. Merktide Terminus Ponder discarded a hand size. Molten Collapse on the Merktide. All right, going to game three. That looked a lot closer than it should have been, I guess. Going to game three. Yeah, waste himself and then price of progress. Potentially. There was, there was no waste on the battlefield, but yeah. That was potentially something he could do. All right, turn one Delver for John. Delver will not flip. Stalactite Stalker comes back. Stalker number two. Setting up the offense early. All right. Descended. So two plus plus encounters get placed. Potentially seven power on the board for next turn if this Delver flips. A hot start. Mr. Rainforest gets correct. Tropical Island for Adam. No. Carpet of flowers, okay. Go to second main, make green. One floating. Okay, second main casting a second carpet of flowers and then passing the turn. All right, so way ahead on mana is Adam, but uh, John, as we mentioned, has quite a bit of power on the board. The Delver did not flip, though. Here's a Bowmaster Sorcerer's Speed. Oh, force, force Pitch Force. Force, okay. force Pitch Force on that. Attack for five. Yeah, yeah. Triggers. Yep. Uh, All right, the Bowmaster getting countered. Grows the stalkers. So seven, potentially nine power on the board next turn. With Adam at 12, a bolt could finish the game. But now making four mana with carpets, it looks like. All white, I think, was was mentioned. There's Triumph of St. Catherine. That's pretty good. Can't block the Menace guys, though. Or the Flyer. Delver trigger. Delver does not flip. Bad news for John. The 5-5 five five lifelinker will be a problem. Hit this. Waste on the trot. There's a descend. Six. Attack for six. That'll put Adam down to six. Now a brainstorm could potentially make sure that Delver flips next turn. It's possible that Adam will end up at 11. Facing down two four fours and a three power. Which is 11. 
Another stalker. That's pretty damn good. Stalkers will grow. It feels like John's been able to hit multiple stalkers in these games pretty consistently. Uh, All right, John uh, correcting the life totals is actually at 14. Adam goes up to 11, which is not enough life if this Delver flips. Cracking a fetch now to go to 10. Okay, not doing the fetch yet. Making mana with carpet. Alright, so taking back the land drop, making blue mana, start a first main. John doesn't mind. Or second main, whatever. Uh, Mert Tide comes in. That's still not enough. Four, two. Oh, one. oh, that would be enough. That would be enough. Never mind. Delver does not flip. Wow. Power Blast on Merktide ends the game. John gets it. Triumph of St. Catherine just wasn't enough. 